So has the dire wolf come back from extinction? Many of y'all have probably heard the news that Colossal Biosciences supposedly brought back a dire wolf, but that's actually not true, and I'll explain why. What they did is use a gray wolf as a base for the genomics. Essentially, they isolated some genes of the gray wolf to make its appearance look similar to the dire wolf. But simply, people, it's a PR stunt. What people don't realize is that the dire wolf existed at the same time as gray wolves. They are not direct descendants. So the dire wolf is not a prehistoric version of a gray wolf. They are different animals. In fact, the last common ancestor of the gray wolf and dire wolf was 5.7 million years ago, which by the way, is similar to when chimpanzees and humans diverged. In fact, the relationship between leopards and lions are more closely related to each other compared to the gray wolves and dire wolves in relation to one another. Essentially, what they brought back was just another gray wolf with a few traits that kind of appear similar to a dire wolf, like lighter fur color, but I mean, it's still a gray wolf, everyone, okay? Now let me help you visualize this even more. Imagine if they figured out a way to put spots on a lion and claimed, hey, look, we made a leopard. No, you didn't. It's just a lion that kind of looks like a leopard. But yeah, that's just an example. You get my point, right? It's not an actual dire wolf. So you see what I'm getting at? I'd really appreciate if y'all help spread this video around so we can get rid of this misinformation. Subscribe for more.